Hey there, story lovers. Welcome back to another chapter of our thrilling tale set in the enchanting town of Rothenburg Obedertauber. As the winter festival draws near, the air is thick with anticipation, like the calm before a storm. Our story unfolds beneath the grand Christmas tree, where Lena and her friends gather, surrounded by shimmering ornaments that seem to whisper secrets of the past. Buckle up, because this chapter promises a journey filled with mystery, courage, and the quest for understanding. Let's dive in and see what unfolds in this magical winter wonderland. As the winter festival approached, the air in Rothenburg Obeder Tauber thickened with anticipation. Lena, with her wild, curly brown hair dancing in the brisk wind, gathered her friends beneath the grand Christmas tree. Its branches were heavy with ornaments that shimmered like stars against the twilight sky. But these decorations, once a source of joy, now felt like a tapestry woven with threads of unease. Lena's bright green eyes were alight with determination as she declared, We need to confront the spirit to understand why it's rearranging everything. The flickering lanterns cast shadows on her freckled face, illuminating the resolve that had taken root in her heart. Jonas, standing beside her, crossed his arms, skepticism etched into his sharp blue eyes. And what if it's just a trick of the light? Or the wind? He challenged, his voice laced with doubt. Max, who had been quiet until now, shifted uncomfortably. The weight of his own insecurities pressed down on him like the heavy snowflakes that fell silently around them. But Lena's unwavering spirit ignited a flicker of courage within him. What if it's not? What if the spirit is trying to tell us something? Max's voice trembled, but it was a voice nonetheless, a small victory against the shadows of self-doubt. Greta, the village's wise elder, had shared tales of the spirit's sorrow, stories that echoed in Lena's mind like a haunting melody. The spirit is tied to our history, to the unresolved conflicts that linger in the hearts of our townsfolk, she had said, her deep-set brown eyes twinkling with the weight of knowledge. Lena felt the truth of those words resonate within her, a call to action that could not be ignored. As the children ventured deeper into the town, the atmosphere grew heavier, the scent of pine and spices mingling with the chill in the air. Decorations shifted subtly, as if the spirit itself was watching, waiting for them to take the next step. Lena led the way, her heart pounding with a mix of fear and excitement, while Jonas grappled with his skepticism, torn between loyalty to his friends and the nagging doubts that clouded his mind. They approached the narrow alleys, cloaked in a soft blanket of snow, where whispers of the past lingered like ghosts. Each step felt like a journey into the unknown, a confrontation not just with the spirit, but with the very essence of their community's history. Lena paused, glancing back at her friends, their faces illuminated by the soft glow of the lanterns. We can't turn back now. We owe it to ourselves and to the spirit to understand what it wants. With a collective breath, they pressed on, the weight of their fears mingling with the hope of reconciliation. The spirit's presence loomed closer, a shimmering figure cloaked in mist, its eyes glowing like lanterns, reflecting the emotions of the town. In that moment, Lena understood. This was not just about confronting a spirit. It was about confronting the past, embracing the sorrow, and finding a way to heal the wounds that had long been buried beneath layers of snow and silence. The festival was not merely a celebration. It was a reckoning, a chance to weave together the threads of joy and sorrow into a tapestry of unity. And there you have it, folks, another chapter filled with mystery and emotion. Don't forget to subscribe to Storyteller for more enchanting tales. Until next time, keep the spirit of adventure alive.